Thieves in Oakland, California, have gone from stealing luxury clothes and household items, well, to entire cash registers. A lot of the businesses, understandably, if you get your cash register stolen, have stopped accepting cash. Our affiliate spoke with one of those business owners. He says the real victims now are not the businesses, but are low-income customers. Looking someone in the face that I know that doesn't have access to a bank account and telling them, like, hey, sorry, I can't take your cash, like, it doesn't feel good. It, fe it feels terrible. Oakland has seen 3,100 robberies this year, about 10 per day. Burglaries nearing 15,000. Carjackings about to cross 13,000. The head of the local NAACP told us that over the summer, well, understandably, that people are afraid. You can't go to the Versatile. You can't go to the grocery stores. You can't put your groceries in your cars. You can't do anything. Darren White is with the criminal justice group for the NAAC. He's the chairman of criminal justice for the Oakland NAACP and joins us now. We appreciate it, sir. Um, you know, when that letter came out in July, it's not racist or unkind to want to be safe from crime. No one should live in fear in our city. It was a big deal when that came out, um, that the NAACP wanted Oakland to declare a crime emergency. Has anything changed since then? Yeah, some things have changed. Until I just saw this recent event at Walgreens. I haven't seen anything this blatant in over a month. Uh, here in Oakland, I want to say that it's not a whole bunch of people that's out here, you know, running rapid in our city. It is a small group of people that are doing these robberies that are causing Oaklanders to feel unsafe and this group of people needs to be, you know, apprehended and face the charges that um, hopefully will brought, be brought against them. Yeah, it seems pretty obvious, right, that um, if you're stealing cash registers and doing this kind of stuff, that the police could find you and charge you and keep you in jail, but that's not happening. Why, why do you think that is? You know, the criminal justice process is what it is. They have to find these young men. They have to do their due diligence. And I'm sure the police officers are, are doing their best. You know, these guys are using stolen cars, covering up license plates. So it's it's hard to find these individuals. But trust us, sure, I believe... I, look, I, 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 hear you. I, I hear you on that. Yeah. And obviously, the Oakland police are one of many police departments that's understaffed, and the prosecutor's letting people out, all of these different problems. The, le the letter the NAACP wrote indicated that there was a bigger problem, right? That this was sort of a feeling of being soft. If you were tough on crime, somehow you were racist. And I guess I'm wondering what what ends up happening to the, the poorest among all of us, especially in Oakland, when these stores start to close, when, if, if, when the police aren't doing their job because uh, either mm -hmm. they don't have the manpower or because they don't have the political support. Yes, it is a horrible thing that people cannot go to the store, purchase things that they need with cash due to the fact that a lot of business have had to go to cashless uh, stores because of being robbed multiple times. So, hmm. you know, this has to be addressed um, systemically, you know, through the education system, jobs, uh, resources, and, and the willingness of these young men and other people that are doing these, that they have to have the willingness to change their behavior. So it's systemic, and it just has come to a head here, not only in Oakland, but nationwide. Yeah, well, it, it certainly has come to a head. I think you, you make a point when people don't fear uh, any repercussions, what happens. It's good to see you, sir. Thank you for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.